All right, guys. My favorite thing about this truck is the Hot Rod C15 that PDI built. This thing sounds amazing. Like, amazing. Listen to that. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to get to walk around Fred's 1986 International Cab Over. We're here in sunny California at the ATSC Truck Show, brought to you by Dynaflex. It was the, uh, it was, uh, I'm supposed to say this the right way. It's the ATSC Original Monster Stack Shootout, brought to you by Dynaflex. There we go, nailed it that time. But anyway, lots of really cool stuff. Fred walks us around this truck. It's a beautiful sight to see. You're not gonna wanna miss it, so let's do this. All right, everybody, I am hanging out with Fred this morning before the awards ceremony, and I got a couple of questions for you, Fred. What did you think about the truck show overall? Overall, amazing. I mean, a lot of nice trucks here. A lot of, I don't know, it's a cool place here right next to the ocean and everything. So one thing I noticed uh, yesterday is that this is the only truck in the entire competition that is not a Packard product. So you've literally brought something unique just in the perspective of there's nobody else here that doesn't have, every, every single truck here is a, either a Peterbilt or a Kenworth. And you've well, got the only international on the lot. And the only international cab. Technically, this is, uh, uh, is I guess technically I, a Peterbilt frame. That's but. true. I forgot about that. That This truck is sitting on a Peterbilt frame. Yes. Yeah. But that's 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 like trade secrets. We can't be telling everybody that. Yeah. <laughs> so, you got to come check it out. Yeah, exactly. At we're, the next show. We're going to do a whole video and walk around on it. But right before the award ceremony, we wanted to get your opinion. Where do you think you stand? Where do I think I stand? Yeah. Talk to some of the judges. They thought I you did know. really well in presentation. Yeah. Where, where do you Where do you think you're at? Where do you think your odds are here? I mean, I don't know. I think the worst. Hope for the best. There you go. Well, that's that's a positive outlook. So that way, you know, you're never, you're never like too let down. But uh, I mean, in my personal opinion, I think you got. I think you got one of the coolest trucks here. I'm pretty excited about the, the award ceremony. How excited are you? I'm really excited to see. Uh, me too. Wins. I'm pretty pumped about it. I think it's gonna be good. After, after the award ceremony, we wanna walk around. We want you to show us this truck. Tell us your vision, your ideas, what made this truck come together, and uh, so on and so forth. So you think we could get some time with you after the, the ceremony? Yes, sir. Cool. All right, well, guys, we're going to watch the award ceremony here, and then we're going to walk around with Fred and check this thing out. To the award chosen by everybody else on this lot, People's Choice Contest. But this was a landslide, and um, it goes to another one of those people that I see um, all over the country all the time. Um, I've watched him grow up, and... Uh, now build a truck, and uh, that goes to my boy, Fred, the boss man, Rapwich. One of the coolest kids you'll ever be. All right, well, Fred, I literally think it was impossible to do any better at the award ceremony. 
I think you're correct. <laughs> because you got first class in every single category you registered in. Yep. And then you took home a bonus trophy. People's Choice. People's Choice. Our so, first ever People's Choice. That was the first ever People's Choice for Rethwish Transportation, which is super cool, by the way. We got a lot going on behind us. There's a whole lot of truck show dismantling going on. But nonetheless, Fred, why an international cab over? Tell me about this. Uh, I don't know. I just, I want an international cab over and I always thought they were cool and I looked and looked and looked until I found this one. And then I found this one and I just fell in love with it right away the first second I saw it. And you know, it's really cool that we're doing this uh, interview on Father's Day because, um, you know, you sent this link to your dad and you said, hey man, this is this is the truck I want. Yep. And here's my idea for, you know, what, I, what I'm thinking it needs to be. And the whole inspiration of the build and everything like that, everything on this truck was your brainchild and it came from your brain. Uh, but definitely pops up to you out quite a bit, right? Yes. Yeah. So... You know the way uh, the way Bill was explaining it. I think they got train horns. So the way Bill was explaining it is basically you just said, "Hey, Dad, this is what I'm thinking. This is what I want this this piece of this one to be, right?" Yes. Okay. So walk me through it. What's 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 really cool about it? What stands out about this build to you? Well. Of course, all the pinstripes I see on the side. Yep. That's a big one that really pops out a lot. Yeah. All of those are all hand done. It's all hand done pinstriping. All, all right, so hand who, done. Who did that? Uh, a guy out of St. George, Utah. Okay. It looks good. And then uh, even on the doors, not just not like not just the the, the pinstriping itself, but the the actual Rethwish transportation. Which is really cool because this is like an older truck and that's like, you know, that's what they did back in the day, right? Yes. So you've got the back of the bumper painted orange there. Yes. I see some steel stainless braided. steel. Yeah, the stainless steel, the braided airlines. Is that yep. all the way throughout? Yep, 100% all the way throughout the truck. All right. Now, tell me about the engine. Who chose the engine? Uh, I chose the engine. Yeah. Okay. I, I wanted a cat with an, with an Allison automatic transmission. So you did the Allison so that way you could pull this one in and out of the shop yourself, right? Yes. Super cool. What series of cat is that? It's a, C, uh, it's a C15 6NZ. 6NZ C15. The most popular of all cat engines. Yes. That's what everybody looks for. So you got a really cool cat engine in there. Now, you uh, you gave away a little bit of the secret sauce earlier when you was talking about this chassis. Tell me, where did this chassis come from? It came from Caledonia Haulers. Caledonia Haulers. What what was this chassis originally? It was a test truck chassis. So it was a this this came off of a Peterbilt, right? Yep. Yeah, Peterbilt 579. I see the flex air back there. We yes. just yeah, we've, we've been seeing a little bit of flex air today because uh, the wine haulers were telling us how much lighter the flex air is over the low air leaf. But you've got this Peterbilt chassis underneath this International. Probably made the build quite a bit more simple, didn't it? Yeah, kind of, because you can get every single part that you need on a brand new Peterbilt frame, but you can't get a lot of stuff that an old cab over International had. You know, I didn't really think about it like that. That's pretty dang smart using a newer chassis specifically for like replacement parts because, you know, if you ever needed to and you needed suspension parts or anything like that, all this stuff they're still making brand new. Yes. Yeah, well, I didn't think about it like that. <laughs> all right, so there's a really cool feature on the other side of this. So take me, take me to your passenger side fuel tank. Let's, uh, let's go through this. All right, so everybody and their brother has stopped to see this thing, and this is like one of the coolest features I've ever seen. So whenever you and your dad are like traveling the truck shows, you like to bring your scooter along, right? Yes. And 
I remember on Legendary, you guys mounted like this big thing on the frame and like this, this so far I think is like the coolest idea ever. Is this, is this something you came up with? Yes, me and my buddy. That's cool. So inside this fuel tank is this slide out shelf and this is where Fred puts the scooter for coming to the truck show. That is, that is actually really, really cool. Thank you. So, all right, some of the other features. All right, the exhaust, what brand exhaust is this? Dynaflex, only the best. Only the best, he says. <laughs> all right, and I'm seeing on the back, you got some Hogue Belt half fenders. Yep. All right, what other custom pieces you got on here? Well, we got brand new small hole rims from Alcoa. Okay. Normally, you see on a lot of trucks here, they always have uh, like the normal size hole or yeah, the like, extra big hole. Yep. Yeah. But wow. Whenever I people always, are doing like the Alcoa, they typically go with the like the round holes is like typically like the big ones. Yeah. That small hole looks a lot better on a like an older truck though. Yeah. Agreed. So what's uh what about on the back? On the back. Yep. We have we have a special T bumper that was built from 12 gauge That's cool. with, with watermelon glass watermelon lights on the back so you really like watermelon lights don't you yes we built a couple of trucks for you and it seems like the theme is always like how many watermelon lights can i get on this truck well yeah without looking gaudy yeah right yeah without you know without overdoing it yes yeah you're a big fan of the watermelon lights yes all right so Driving down here, this was this, this thing pretty smooth? Yes, it rides like a brand new truck. <laughs> That's cool. All right, so let's get over here to the interior. You guys have redone the interior, uh, and you tried to make it go back to original, right? Yes. The interior looks super cool. I love the brown. I think, it, I think it goes really good with this truck. Yeah, it's the old Eagle package. Yeah. With a brown interior. This is pretty much what a brand new Eagle would look like from the factory. Besides, we added the pillow top on the ceiling. Normally, they would they were just on the walls. Oh, okay. So what did the, what would the ceiling have looked like? The ceiling just would have looked, it would be that exactly the same color, just, just flat. Just flat, not not the not like the diamond tuck pillow or no. pillow or the button tuck pillows. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. But that really helps with some sound deadening. Yes. Yeah, it cuts cuts some sound out in the inside of yep. it. Yep. And we also put Dynapad and Dynamat inside of it to cool it down and or not to uh, quiet it down and to keep it from rattling. Nice. So you guys went all the way through. You did the whole bit. Yes. Brought it back to looking factory. Now you said International Eagle. I heard a rumor that uh, that you've named the Eagle on the front side up up here. Yes. All right. So up here next to all your hardware and your awards, tell me tell me about the Eagle on the front. What's what's his name? His name is Freedom Eagle. The Freedom Eagle. That's pretty cool. All right, Fred, anything else you want to talk about on here? Anything you want to point out or, or uh, say about your build? Yes. All right, what's that? Look at all these trophies. <laughs> he says the hardware speaks for itself, Brian. That's, that's what he's saying. He says, I don't have to say anything. The trophies are saying enough. <laughs> Agreed. It's an awesome truck, bud. Thank you. Heck of a truck. Thanks. All right, Fred. This is a super cool truck, and I really want to go for a ride. Okay, but first, I have to tell you a couple more things about this thing. All right. Okay, so all this chrome that you see on the body yeah. would normally come from factory as just polished aluminum. Okay. But instead of having to polish it all, we decided that it would just be easier to chrome it. Yeah, it is a lot easier to wipe down once you get to a show. Yes. 
All right. What else? What else you got for me? And then we got the engine in there was built uh, by PDI. Okay. It's a C15 6MZ cat with just a single turbo and that's pretty much it. Just a. Uh, did they build it like the stock or did they, did they put some juice to it? It, it's, it runs really good for a, for a <laughs> C15. So, or, sorry, 6NZ. So you're saying it runs probably a little better than most 6NZs? Yes. All right, I got it. All right, I'm picking up what you're laying down. Yep. I think it's time to yeah. go for a ride. You want to go for a ride? Yeah, let's do it. All right, I'm excited. Let's do this. All right, so now we are inside the International. Fred is about to take us for a ride yep. in this sweet cab over. Fred, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you know this is like the third cab over I've ridden in in my entire life. And actually, another one of them was yours because it was a Freightliner at your shop. Yep. <laughs> so, all right, let's do this. Okay. So Fred, how long have you been a truck driver? Not very long, I can tell you that. Oh man, you were supposed to say years. Years, man, I've been doing this for years. Well, I can tell you I have been trucking for, I, I've been trucking for a long time, actually. Yeah, I've, I mean, been, I've been trucking for about three, three weeks now. Yeah? Yeah. The trucking's in your blood though, right? Uh-huh. It does really ride good. So what's what's you know what's the secret behind the smooth ride here? Well, we have the cab mate on the back. Yeah. Which helps a lot. It's airbags on the back of the cab. I heard uh, I heard rumors that uh, Chad Berry come down and uh, yep. did some did some upgrades to the chassis. Yeah, Ryan was there. Oh yeah. Watch out, Seagull. Yeah, don't worry, he'll move. He sees this coming. making sure everybody can hear you, right? All right. This thing rides pretty freaking slick. Uh, so. That was uh -huh. a smooth ride. Yep. Fred, thank you for all your time today. Thank Looking you, Looking forward to, uh, we're about to go through the desert together, aren't we? Yes. Brian's going to try to find us some good spots to take some photos. Mm-hmm. We're going to get good photos. Yes. And I want to see if I can get, maybe, maybe I can ride around this thing, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, we'll get some footage that way. Yeah, yeah, that'd be cool. All right. Well, that's it for this video. That's all this video's got. You guys know what you got to do. Fred, do you know what you got to tell the people to do? Yes. What's that? You got to like, subscribe. Follow them on Instagram. At Semi Casual Show. And. Don't forget about our truck show. Yes. If you guys want to see this thing, it's going to be there. That's the Semi Casual Truck Show, August 4th and 5th, and it's going to be in Crossville, Tennessee. Fred's going to be there. This truck's going to be there. Fred. You're going to be giving autographs out, aren't you? Yep. Signing autographs. Not even charging anything, huh? Nope. Free autographs. Free autographs Free. from Fred. That should be worth the trip alone. Uh-huh. All right. Well, everybody, see you next time. See ya. Uh -huh.